Well, the, the important thing that one has to keep in mind is that our children are more important than our animals, right? And my children do not deserve to suffer from neurological disease and die from neurological disease that are basically at this moment not curable. So it is, people talk about animal suffering and all that, but it, it is very instructive and very enlightening to visit the hospital, go to the neurological department there and see what kind of immense human suffering is going on every day in our hospitals and in our nursing homes and, and all over the country. And we, people don't really like to think about that because usually these people are old and everybody has the tendency to think oh, it's not going to happen to me. But it will happen to you. Like one out of three citizens in Europe has a neurological disease. So that means that the probability that you will have some sort of a disease that is related to the brain is extremely high. And it, the, this probability will even increase because our population gets older. So, and I think it's actually unethical to not do animal experiments. Because what you're actually doing is you're denying your children the right to have a healthy life. And I think that is not even unethical, it's actually criminal. Because I think we absolutely have to do everything we can to prevent this kind of suffering. But there is, of course, the time lag. So research takes a very long time. So the research we do here and now will definitely not help the patients that are now in the hospital. And they will not even help me, probably. But they, it, my children, are in 30 or 40 years, they may get some brain disease. And hopefully, the community of brain researchers will have found something that will actually solve that. So there is a balance here, but the balance is immensely uh, in the direction of human suffering, you know. So the amount of suffering of humans is just immense compared to animal suffering.